Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel, that is the R in the RK Stumbling Bear, and I am a reader and a writer. And today I'm here to talk about Echoes of Another Earth by J. Daniel Layfield, one of our quarter finalists for the science for the self-published science fiction contest. I mess that up every time. I don't know why. I think I'm more like excited, like science fiction, self-published, but, but it's reversed. Anyways, so this was one of the six quarter finalists from my team, Book Invasion, and I finished it this week. So I'm here to talk about it. I'm gonna do the review in kind of like a pro-con version just to make it fun. But if you know nothing about this book, this book starts off following Josh, who has inhabited the life of Joshua. His carbon copy, Doppler ganger, I'm not sure the correct word, from another dimension. He doesn't know how this happens, but this has happened to him since he was a child, that there will be a world extinction event, and instead of dying, he wakes up in a new body. Always similar to himself, but the society isn't always the same. At the start of the book, he we are with him, he knows that death is imminent, and he is just waiting, you know, for the end of it. I guess if you've been through enough deaths, I guess that would be how you approached it. It didn't go into whether he felt pain or not, so it would suck if you felt pain every time you died. But then there's also a second uh, storyline going through of an admiral named Chelsea who is on a, a secret mission. And as the story develops, you find out what that mission is. And both storylines end up converging as Josh and his Joshua guys dies and goes to another Josh and has to restart. I found the beginning very compelling and I wanted to know more. So I guess that is the first pro. This has a compelling beginning and it sucks you in with questions of what's going on and please tell me more. My first con is the tonal shift. The beginning that we're given is more in a serious manner. Like I said, it was compelling. That's what drew me in. And then we're introduced to date the side character and then the rest of the story has more hum is more like a humorous bent. Like each character is snarky and the innuendos abound. Sometimes I think that the humor takes precedence over the story. And it's all about how do they get that perfect piece of, like that, that perfect joke off rather than is the reader invested in the motivation of what is going on. A pro of this is this is parallel dimensions. I like parallel dimensions. I don't like time travel. <laughs> So this works wonderfully for me. I like the concept of people traveling to other dimensions and I find it in, and I found it interesting with the group that is traveling through space because that's how they get to parallel dimensions versus Josh where he dies and he wakes up. And so they have two different modes of traversing the dimensions. Josh doesn't get to choose where he goes, but the people who travel through space do. A con for this would be, we have too many points of view for me. I, I'm someone who, I top out at five points of view, and after that it gets too many. So in this one we have, we get points of view from so many characters, and even at the end we get the point of view of an, an antagonist who pops in at the later third, and that was just too much for me. If you like multiple points of views past five people, it's probably not gonna bother you at all. A pro to this book is the main characters aren't always the ones who are solving it. And this is where the multiple points of view can work for people because as a problem is presented, the ensemble itself, like different members will have different solutions and will come up with things to fix it. And that was a very interesting way to handle it. It's not something you see very often, like a very, like a true ensemble that is cooperative in how it solves problems. And so I think that is a pro for this book, showing that it 
doesn't take just one person. We're not in a hero's journey here. We are what is called a heroine's journey, not because the main character is like female, but because in a heroine's journey, you have a network that comes together to solve a problem. And I love those stories. A con for this book would be the latter half of it become, the scenes become dialogue heavy and there's not a lot of description of what's going on. All, our, all of the information we receive is through the dialogue. At the beginning, it's really balanced between dialogue and description, but the latter half, the description kind of fades away and it primarily becomes all dialogue, which I myself, as a writer, I write a lot of dialogue in my first couple drafts and I have to go back and add that description and then tone down the dialogue. So it took me a while to notice what was happening myself, but once I did, I was like, okay, talk, 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 wait, how many scenes in a row have we talked and we just haven't seen things happen? We haven't had the description? That's when I noticed it. And that might be something that's just personal, that's something that I notice. It might not be something that you even notice at all. We're all very different readers. In addition to when we got to the dialogue heavy, that's when a lot of the characters started to sound the same. We didn't have a lot of differentiation on like word choices from what characters were saying. They all used the same language. They all made the same word choices and that made it a little bit harder to follow like who was doing what and who had what idea. Overall, I really enjoyed this book. This is a, this is a solid sci-fi read. And I look forward to reading more by this author. Um, he had another sci-fi listed on Amazon about a murder mystery on Mars, and I know that is something that I am interested in picking up next by him. So if you haven't tried Echoes of Another Earth, I would say look it up and read it. If you have read it, I would love to know your comments down below. Thank you and have a great day.